All right, so we're looking at this um, fight ending sequence here between Bagarelli and Canetti. And I want to mostly focus on um, Bagarelli's head movement here, right? This area right here. So whenever he throws this left hook here, he keeps his head kind of where it is and then ducks it, right? So I see a lot of people that will get to this position and they'll move their head with their hook so that they're trying to slide their whole body to this kind of outside line area <clears throat> as a southpaw versus orthodox person. Um, but Bagnarelli keeps his head in the same kind of spot here. And the only thing he really does is lower it. Now, if he would have moved his head with a strike, his head would be right about here somewhere. And let's kind of roll this forward. Left hook lands clean, but there's where that hand fits in, right there. So he would have taken some of the power away from his left hook, and he would have gotten caught with a punch of his own. But because he just keeps his head on the same line and dips it, sorry, dips it down here, he doesn't have the same issues. Boom, throws it there, gets underneath it, and then that's kind of all your rope for Kennedy. So good movement there. Again, fourth rocks here, southpaw here, that really moves to the outside line, throws the left hook once he has the line, but he doesn't move his head real far that way. He doesn't try and cut the angle too. Left hook, head goes down, good defensive posture, good position for everybody. Boom, real nice. And like I said, if he'd moved his head, he'd been right in line for that left straight, probably would have taken some of the power off that punch. So Good job with head movement, outside line, left hook from uh, Bagarelli.